Greetings and welcome back to this collaborative Let's Play series of Distant Worlds Universe. This is a series that Daz and I have put together. Actually, Daz did more of the putting together than I did. I'm kind of following along, but uh, we've had various YouTubers come along and uh, contribute various years. So if you want to know who's been uh, contributing to the series, look in the description. I've got them all listed there and uh, links to their channel and all that good stuff. But I think what we're doing now is we're just coming up on the, uh, the invasion of the Wraithal homeworld. Uh, I've been poking around and just having a look at to see where we stand right now. And I've noticed that our slaver fleets are all hanging around Kesk, uh, sort of around Kesk. One's over here in the Omgol Waste, which we'll have to get out of there. But uh, I think they're pretty much ready to go. Uh, we'll just maybe have a quick look through him through them here. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's just come over and have a look at the Wraithal homeworld. Uh, we can see in here now because we own space control and we can see what the troop uh, levels are like and everything. So if we click on the troops, we can see that they've actually gone up in strength since the last time we looked here. It was a little over 900k the last time we looked and they've actually increased the strength on their planet. So what's happening is they see we have space control. They know that invasion is coming. So they're digging in and uh, building troops right now. So uh, it's basically we go now or we miss our opportunity. So they've got a thousand strength here. They've got one, two, three, four, five planetary defense forces here. And what they do is they shoot down our troops as they land. So what we need to do is get special forces dropped first on this planet to help take those out. Uh, they got some infantry and they got a whole mess of armor here. So it's going to be a tough take, but I think we've got more than enough uh, numbers to do this. So if we just look at our uh, slaver fleets here, and I'm just going to go. I'm just going to round up to the nearest 500 here, just to, for some quick math. So that fleet has 500. That has another 500. So that's a thousand. There's 1500. Uh, 2300. 23, 27, 3700. 47, 4900 in strength. That is more than enough to take this. So we are actually ready to go. Now looking through them. I see that the 6th fleet actually has 6 special forces on it. It's going to be important that we drop this fleet first. And I don't know why that's coming up there. Okay, never mind. That's not where this fleet is. I don't know why that was going off. Probably because I was in here or something. Yeah, there we go. But uh, yeah, it's very important that we drop the 6th fleet first because it's got all the special forces on it. So that'll help take out those planetary defense uh, units. Uh, our troop general is on the 1st fleet. So the, the order of dropping is going to be the 6th fleet to get the special forces on the ground and take out those planetary defenses. The second drop will be our troop general. Uh, make sure that we have lots of strength on the ground first before we drop him. So that'll be the second drop. And then the rest of them can come in after that and just uh, drop what they have after that. So that's sort of the order we have to go in in, uh, in order to uh, take that. Uh, as far as where all our fleets are right now, uh, most of them are sitting in here right now and uh, just protecting the skies in here. The humans, I'm sure, will be coming back in to try and uh, clear the skies so they can get another spaceport built. But we're going to prevent that from happening as much as possible. Uh, we have a resupply coming in to uh, deploy. I believe it's got a deploy order. Uh, just have a look here. Yeah, so it's going to deploy at Wraithal 3, which is a, a fuel source. So we'll let that happen and hopefully it uh, won't get scared away before it does that. As far as fuel, I think we're doing okay at the moment. We still got half a tank. Um, so I think we, if we're just sitting here, we should be okay. I think all these ships have uh, energy collectors on them. So we should be okay that way. Uh, Daz sent these two tactical fleets into these areas because the humans are actually refueling there. And I don't think the idea here will be to uh, destroy anything. It's going to be more to uh, just clobber the human ships as they come in. Uh, we don't really want to start a war with these guys, but uh, we'll just sort of sit in here and uh, pick off any humans that come in. Uh, what have we else we got for fleets? We have this the second reserve fleet in here, which is still refueling. Uh, just a couple fleets to go, or ships to go. So we'll let that happen. Uh, we got a 25 fleet in here. It's the Tyrosian second fleet, so they're in there for repair. So we'll let that go as well. Um, I'm thinking this 54 fleet, the second reserve, I'm going to bring down to help support this effort here. Uh, we got a carrier fleet up here, and I believe it's targeting a, a, a mining station or something in here. Uh, maybe just select that and figure out exactly what you're doing. Yeah, a gas mining station there, so uh, we're targeting that. 
And what else we got going on? I think my fleet's sort of around Homeworld somewhere, and I'm not sure whether I'm even going to do anything with it at this point in the game. I'm just going to hit the space bar just to get some numbers showing here for a sec. Come on. There we go. So, um, yeah, so we we're, the game ends at uh, year 370101. So we've got, what, four years left. So, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to do anything with my fleet. I think I'm just going to leave it around. And uh, At this point, there's no point in having a specialized fleet. I think Daz is still using his to do, use, do some hit and runs. But uh, I guess I could bring it over and do something with it. But it's just another fleet in the way that uh, he can't touch on his year. So I don't want to stack it up with a bunch of ships and uh, just have them out of commission for his year. So I think we'll do that. Uh, there's nothing really going on in the core. I'm not going to worry about the core at all. Um, Torak, I'm not going to worry about Torak too much. I think we got enough troops. Um, we're pretty safe up there anyways. I don't think uh, even if the uh, Zeus go to war with us that they're going to be able to do much uh, as far as invading that. They might be able to bombard it. But we do have a planetary shield on that, which will prevent that. So that's not a huge issue. One thing I'm not noticing right now is human fleets, which could mean one of two things. First thing would be as they're heading back here to retake their space here. Or the second thing is perhaps they're out of fuel and they're heading off to refuel somewhere, which would be optimal. And what I'm really hoping for is they got a whack of fuel sitting on their home world and that they're heading back here to refuel. And their ships will show up in here with no fuel and we'll just be able to massacre them. So that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen there. So I think the first order of business... Oh, I should go through a couple things here. Somebody asked uh, we should maybe look at our research. Uh, we've had this automated for the whole game. I'm just going to leave that on. So I don't know whether I'm going to actually do much in here. Uh, armored Shock Forces, which is uh, increases the attack strength of newly recruited Armored Forces. I don't know whether we need that. At this point in the game, uh, we're almost... I'm going to take that off. And what I might do is come into point defense. Just enhance our point defense a bit more. So I'll just leave that. I'm not going to queue up anything else. Uh, high energy capacitors for uh, shielding. I'm not even sure if we're utilizing that shielding. But it's almost done anyways. So maybe I'll just let that finish. And I don't know what else we should maybe get into in here. Uh... Are we still no we're not even using Jarek's hyperdrives we have our special our own uh no no i was thinking we had special hyperdrives but we have a special uh reactor that's that's our special uh technology so i'm not sure whether i'm going to even bother with anything in the yeah i think i'm just going to leave it as is so i just made the one adjustment it was also just suggested that maybe we should um, look at our ship designs as well uh, they are a bit old. Uh, they're about five years old, these designs. But whether we're going to retrofit our fleets at this point, they're kind of busy doing what they're doing right now, so we're not going to be actually pulling them off to do any retrofitting. What I might do, just so anything new that we built is sort of updated, is I might just hit the auto-upgrade auto designs, and we'll just uh, upgrade existing components. And I think that's we'll just what we'll do with that. And anything new built from that this point on will uh, be a bit bit more upgraded but I'm not going to go in and tweak any designs so I'm just going to hit the uh, yeah so it went to mark six I'm just going to do this to all these designs and hopefully it doesn't mess too much up but again at this point in the game I don't think we need to worry too much about it and this will just uh, refresh a lot of stuff Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll leave these on automatic, I guess. Um, I think I'll leave the bases as they are. We didn't do much in here anyways. We just redesigned the small outpost and the sector bases is all we've done. So I think I'll just leave that as is. Okay, so that's that. I don't think I need to really look at a whole lot more. I think we're just going to get going here. So one thing I did notice in our uh, slaver fleets, I think it was the sixth, is we have one ship that's not fueled. And he actually has a re or uh, an attack order. So I'm just going to zoom in and see what he's doing. Okay. He's obviously hanging around Homeworld there. 
So I'm just going to cancel that order. Oh, where is he going? Oh, he's going over there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to cancel that order and uh, just hit a refuel order on that one ship. And get that uh, refueling ASAP. Okay, so, and we're waiting for second reserve fleet to fuel up. We're waiting for that one to uh, repair. And that's coming into deploy. Okay, uh, what's the smasher fleet doing? Nothing. Oh, no, it's attacking a mining station. Are they all attacking the mining station or just the one ship? Nope, they're all attacking a mining station. So I'm just going to leave that go. Uh, let's just have a look in here. I think we came in here. Uh, I, oh, I don't think I was paying attention at the end of the last episode when I was watching. I think we uh, figured out that we didn't need to be in here and we've moved over here. I think there's a couple of fueling, fueling spots here. So what we're going to do, like I said, is just come in and just sort of keep an eye on those and any human ships that come in will destroy, but we're not going to touch the bases, I don't think. So I think with that, uh, we'll just maybe hit the space bar and continue on. Uh, now, was there another fleet in here? Yes, second carrier fleet, which is actually done refueling. I think I might just bring that into Wraithal 1, or Wraithal 2. Okay. So we'll have a bit more support there. And we'll let things progress a bit. And we'll wait for this fleet here to be done. And we'll make sure we get that into play as soon as possible. And uh, this fleet, once it's finished what it's doing here, I think we'll bring it over as well. Get as much air support or space support as we possibly can get. And still not seeing any human ships here. I'm really ho I'm I'm guessing that they should be just about out of fuel. Okay, a couple little ships coming in in here, so I don't think it's nothing to really worry ourselves about. We do have this planet, uh, their homeworld, blockaded at the moment. And we are destroying absolutely everything that comes near it. So that's the idea there, is to keep that space under our control. Okay, let's just check on this fleet. Okay, so all our slaver fleets are now refueled, I believe. Just double check on that. I think they should all have fuel. And they do. All right. So I'm going to bring them all over just outside of Wraithal here. So there's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Oh, we have no fifth. Sixth and seventh. Okay, so they're going to be all underway. Uh, there's some room on some of these fleets, but I don't think I need to worry about topping those up. Um, they're around Kesk, and the only thing Kesk has on it right now is Special Forces, so uh, I think we'll just go with what we have. Okay, so that brings everybody out that way. All right, and we'll just check and see. Yes, it's very quiet, which makes me kind of nervous. Okay, so how are we doing here? Getting fueled up just a bit further. Still repairing. Come on. Pirates, I'm not going to run off to look at pirates. Okay, what's going on in here? A couple things. Perfect. So yeah, they're coming in to refuel here and we're in here already. So I'm just going to let those uh, go on their own. I don't think we need to micromanage that too heavily. Come on, refuel that one ship. I could probably go. That's probably enough fuel for now. Um, yeah. But we'll give it a couple more seconds just in case we can get the get them topped up would be nice. Okay. 
Okay, that uh, resupply. Okay, let's uh, check on this fleet. Oops. Let's see our third carrier. And we'll just come in and see if you finished what you were up to. Let me see we have... It's like an abandoned ship or something in here. Yeah, pretty damaged. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, did we finish doing what we came in to do? And looks like we did, yes. So I'm going to bring this carrier fleet down and get it into the action. I'm not going to worry about destroying that uh, damaged ship in there. So yeah, oops, what did I just target? I actually didn't want to target anything, I just wanted to move there. Orbital battery, uh-oh. They're starting to try, they're trying to rebuild stuff around their home world here. So I'm guessing we're probably going to be right on that. Yep, it's already exploded, so good. All right, so we'll uh, carry on. And I'm just going to pop into option. That scroll seems to be awful slow here. Uh, scroll speed, just zoom that up a bit. Or zoom speed, actually. Scroll speed is fine. And just increase that a little bit. All right. And what are our advisors telling us? Build new ships? Nah. Establish new colony? Nah. Sign intelligence agent to the Degelins? Nah. And another intelligent? Nah. I'm going to decline that as well. Uh, I should almost do something with those intelligence agents, though. If they have any... Uh... Yeah, they're pretty crappy. They're better on counter-espionage. Uh, counter I think I'll just leave them there for now. And we'll carry on. Alright, is that fleet done refueling yet? Not quite. Well, I'll give it a couple more seconds. We can probably move it out now. Uh, maybe just see where these are. Yeah, they're right there, so... All right, well, we'll let that finish, I guess. Where are those human fleets? I'm really hoping they're out of fuel. Oh, oh, here they are here. Oh, it's only a three. It's only a fleet of three, so that's going to fall pretty quick. So I think we got that under control. And where did that resupply ship end up? Just pause again here. It should be right in here, I think. It's just coming in to deploy now. Good. Oh, I hope we can catch the orbit. It's pretty slow moving. Oh yeah, that should be fine. I've done that. I've designed uh, resupply ships with very few engines and then stupid things couldn't catch the orbit of the planets. Okay, so we're still protecting this all right. Looks like our blockade got lifted somehow. Okay. Not too concerned about that. Man, that scroll seems to be awful slow for some reason. Maybe it's just my machine. And here comes a strike force. See how that works out. I'm sure they're just going to die right away. All right. Oh, guys, where are you going? Oh, man. Oh, I hate when they have a mind of their own. Ran away to go clobber something useless, no doubt. Construction ship. All right. Now, get back to what you were doing. Are you going to go back on your own, or do I have to micromanage this? Oh, what is up with this scroll? It's so slow. It's not like my system's tapped it. Oh, I'm going to have to do something about that. Hang on. 
Why that's so slow? All right, resume. Okay, that's a little better, I guess. No, it's not. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's probably just my tired old machine. All right, carry on. Oh, there's some human fleets. All right, where are you heading? You're heading over to Axum. Yeah, just check on this again. I could use this fleet to intercept that. Uh, let's just check on these uh, damage. Ooh. Okay, that's no good. I think we can probably get rid of that. Oh, you're you're still down here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it. That's uh, good cannon fodder, I think. Um, might provide a target for them. So, I think what I'm going to do... Wish that was done. Okay, so that was that ship. Uh, that's another one. So I think these are done repairing. I'm just going to hit the refuel order on these, I think. Get those refueled. And this fleet, I think I'm going to... Should I pull it into Axum and maybe uh, intercept these two fleets coming in? It's not much. It's only five ships coming in there. I think I'd just as soon pull them down to the action and get these guys over there. So I'll let them refuel a bit, but I think I'm actually going to pull these guys down. I'm not going to wait too much longer for that. Because I get the feeling one of their big fleets or a couple of their big fleets are going to come in here. So I'm just going to move them down to Wraithal too. Off you go. All right, so we got lots of uh, space support coming for that. Our slaver fleets are on their way. Um, I'm thinking I might get the troops dropped in my turn. Uh, the battle probably won't resolve until next year. So probably Daz will see that uh, resolve, but uh, we'll definitely get the invasion happening. Okay, I'm just going to leave them parked in there for now. Uh, we might get a little bit of a, a warning from these guys to pull them out, but... Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Oh, that scroll is really ticking me off. I don't know why it's so slow here today. Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to go put it back where it was. That is one mess of fighters. Holy cow. Okay. Yes, that scroll is just mega slow. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to stop complaining about it. <laughs> You're probably sick of me talking about it. Okay, how are we doing here? Still refueling. Uh, if they take out the Axum spaceport, that's fine. We're kind of half expecting to lose all our spaceports in this area anyways. And I just saw the blue disappear from in there. Okay, they're coming in there. And how's the Smasher fleet doing? I'm guessing they're done. Yeah, they're done whatever they were doing. So what I'm going to do is just issue a... A... Oh, patrol order for that. Okay, that should maybe take care of that fleet coming in. Okay, what else we got going here? Not much. The humans are actually very quiet, which might be an indication that they're out of fuel with any luck whatsoever. Dark spaceways. Pirates offer protection. Oh, okay, it's a pirate faction. I thought it was the Deglins. Uh, establish new colony, build new ships. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just build some new ships. See, our bonus income is actually down from where it usually is. Now we're actually doing, still doing good with these guys. Uh, yeah, our trade's still doing all right. Let's just look at the Wraithal strength. 18,000 compared to our 41. We've been beating them back pretty successfully. They were actually stronger than us at one point. So we're definitely getting the, the push on them right now.
So what I think I will do actually is uh do we have a what do we have for reserve fleets going on here? Um let's just come into the screen for a bit. Reserve second fleet, which is the one I'm pulling down. Reserve first fleet, where is that? Oh, you're sitting over here with one ship. Okay, that's a bit uh useless, but oh well. I guess I could maybe. I'm just gonna select that fleet. I'm just going to bring you back into Kesk. Okay. So I'm just going to bring that back to Kesk. And I am going to order some ships, I think. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to build, but uh, we'll just add it to that first uh, reserve fleet. Just in case we need some more in a hurry. Uh, we'll definitely put some more carriers in it. About five of those, and I'll just. I don't know how many I'm clicking here, just to get a few building. Okay, so we'll just get that started. Just in case we need some more ships, and then they're at least ready for us. Okay, and. Right up to there. Put that the reserve fleet first. Okay, so that's that going. All right, and I'll reduce the size of that. I know it does cover a lot. All right. Strike force of one. Yes, the humans are actually pretty quiet at the moment. I think we got the jump on them. Uh, just keep this uh, spaceport from being rebuilt. Yeah, it looks like they're just automatically going around and eliminating whatever. So we'll just let them carry on in there like that. A couple big ships uh, orbiting. That's fine. So it's just a waiting game for our slaver fleets to get into place. I could speed it up. Eh, I'll just leave it like this. A lot of stuff flying by. Every time I speed it up, I just want to slow it back down again. So we'll just leave it at this. These guys are just sitting here. And how is this fleet doing? Oh, we lost that one ship that was damaged. That's fine. Okay, I'm, uh, should I pull it over there? I don't know whether those fleets are still hidden there. I might just leave them there. It's more centralized here, so we'll see if he uh, comes across anything he can do. And I see we're just coming up on our half hour here. I am going to split this into two episodes. So uh, this will probably happen next episode. And we boarded a ship. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, here they are in here. They're asking us to remove our ships. I think I might... Where are you guys going? Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Back to Rathel 2, please. Not sure what you had in mind, but uh, not right now, whatever it was. We have other fish to fry. You're going to need fuel anyway, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just change that order to a refuel order. Oops. This scroll is really getting annoying. Okay. Oh, where'd my resupply ship go? <sighs> Which one was it? No, no, no. Go, go deploy. 
Why won't you deploy? Oh, I got to select the ship itself. There we go. Deploy. Okay, so we'll let that carrier fleet come in before we uh, go there. Okay, so we're at 30 minutes and we're halfway through the year. So I think I'll put the uh, put a cut in here. And we'll uh, start this invasion next episode. And I'm very confident that uh, we'll be able to take that fairly quickly. I don't think that's going to be much of a problem as long as we drop our stuff in the right order. Okay, so yeah, there's not much happening with the human fleets. I, I suspect they're out of fuel. And I think our uh, efforts have uh, taken out all those stations along the way. What's in here? Ah. Okay. We have a gas mining station here, I think. And we do. All right. Um, maybe I'll use this fleet to take care of that. do that so that'll happen next episode I think I see another one in here though too and I do okay uh, probably won't take much to get rid of that I'll just grab this tactical fleet actually there's a little tactical fleet this one here first tactical fleet I'll get you to come in and maybe try and get rid of that this scroll is really annoying as you have already guessed okay so we got those set up for next turn, or next episode. Okay, so if you're still with us, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.